with full awareness, but not tense. Should also be relaxed, right? Your shoulders, don't put excess tension. Shake them out if you feel like you're, you're getting tense up there. Make sure you breathe, <laughs> okay? Has anyone tried number two? あ、どうぞどうぞ。いいですよ。すみません。どうぞ。もちろん。Look at the model while you write, so you get a sense of the white space. So now, when you're writing too, it no longer becomes simply about moving the brush or practicing using the brush. Now it becomes for the first time a real G, right? A real character. Because now it's not just about the line, but it's about two lines and how they work together. And the spacing, the white space, becomes critical. Okay? So look carefully about what you've written against the model. What's different? Right? Should there be more space, less space? Right? What about the angle of the strokes? And how, where those lines are placed on the paper? Okay. Stroke order also, everyone, don't forget. The top line, the short line is first, and then the long one. Okay. Too much twist, not so much. It's very subtle. You can barely see it. So now, if your paper is dry, if you can remember which one is yours, you can now practice on the other side of it, right? Conserve paper. So in general, when you're practicing kanji, uh, karuzi-san, your brush was very tilted. <laughs> Straight brush. Well, in general, when you're practicing shodo kanji, um, start by writing the character large first, and then work on making it smaller. It's much harder to make a balanced character write it small, especially because you're using large brushes. This is for writing rather large As I said, in order to conserve paper, 